Google Cloud comes with built-in infrastructure and tools to help you develop apps and manage your services. In this episode, we'll go beyond login and error reporting and explore the powers of tracing, profiling, and debugging in production. Stick around. Google Cloud Log Tools are great, and I hope you didn't miss the previous episodes about cloud logging and error reporting. But when dealing with logs, it's easy to get lost looking for a needle in a haystack, especially when you're trying to determine where time is actually spent when your application is carrying out a particular task. CloudTrace is a distributed tracing system to help you with this exact problem by collecting latency data across multiple Google Cloud products and many support languages. In most cases, CloudTrace requires no setup. The cloud tracing graphical interface in the console provides recent traces, each with URI, latency, and timestamp, but also most frequent URIs, and even insights pointing you to common application problems. For any given request URI, a heap map of request duration through time is presented, giving you visual hints about which specific requests may need further investigation. Capturing distributed traces from your application used to be a difficult problem, but we now make it easy with OpenTelemetry, previously named OpenCensus, a project that we started here at Google. For any running code that isn't integrated out of the box with Cloud Trace, OpenTelemetry provides libraries that capture traces and application metrics from your applications, either automatically using included instrumentation or manually via the API. Once you've identified a particular bottleneck in your application that is likely to require a code modification, it's time to use a profiler. What's special about Cloud Profiler is the little to no overhead that it introduces while continuously gathering CPU and memory allocation data from your production applications. Cloud Profiler then attributes that information back to the application's source code, helping you identify what's consuming the most resources and how to fix your performance issues. Once collected, profiling data is displayed using flame graphs, which pack a large amount of information into a compact and readable format. This is not the time to go into a course on troubleshooting your code, but I would instead recommend that you interact with the Cloud Profiler user interface. Click on the top functions list and find out which are the most expensive functions, and then click on one to enable the focus view. They may well be some low-hanging fruit waiting for you. Writing code is great, but potentially finding hard-to-identify bugs is just as important. Now, be honest. How often have you had to restart or redeploy your application just because you added a log statement for debugging? I know I have. Cloud Debugger is a tool you can use to inspect the state of an application at any code location without stopping or slowing down the running app. Since we're talking about live running applications here, there are no actual breakpoints, but instead two unique features, snapshots and log points. With snapshots, you can capture the call stack and inspect local variables, all without stopping or slowing down the app. With log points, you can inject logging statements without the need to restart the app. Creating a log point is a lot like creating a snapshot. Simply click on a given line in your code, and each log point will operate just as a log statement that you write into your code manually. You can add free text, reference variables, and set the conditions for the log to be saved. Log points are written to your standard output, which means that you can use them with any logging backend. This is no conventional debugging tool. It's one that can help you troubleshoot hard to reproduce problems. So I can only strongly encourage you to look into it. With Cloud Trace, Profiler, and Debugger in your toolbox, you now have modern and powerful tools to diagnose and fix issues that may arise in your cloud apps, even in production. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and look forward to more Google Cloud Essentials videos.